Here we go, guys. We're wrapping up day one of SolarCon. Great freaking show. I'm here with my man. He's my friend. He's the CEO of Initiate Solar, also known as the Solar King. He also started a new initiative called Solar Latinos. We're going to talk about that. I'm a big fan of the Latin solar community. Oh, Latin everything, honestly, you know? Oh, yeah. My man, I've known you for a few years. We met. It's funny how we met. We met at a show. We met through social media. I saw you posting stuff on Facebook. I'm like, I got to get to know this guy. And before I know it, you're standing in front of him. I'm like, yo, you're the Solar King, right? <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Let's talk Absolutely, about that. yeah. It was a crazy moment at the time because I was supposed to meet someone else. And that other person actually ended up not showing up. And then I ended up meeting Dave. He comes to me and he's like, yo, Solar King, what's up? And I'm like, like, who are you? I don't know who you are. And then he's like, I, I spoke to you before, whatever, you know. Then I saw the text message. I'm like, oh, I know who you are now, you know. And he's like, did you get the $10,000 that you lose? And I'm like, what do you mean? And I'm like, oh, you posted that on Facebook too. And I got I got the money back. <laughs> yeah. And that's well, how we met. Well, it's, yeah, that's a part. That was like four years ago. And then I think literally like a month and a half later, you and I were doing business. You came to the call center in South Carolina. We started doing stuff for you in Colombia and Bogota, yeah. right? Big so, things. man, I mean, and now I have my place there in Pereira, Colombia, man. But, like, you were influential towards that, man. Yeah. We did good stuff together, man. We and did, bro. Well, yeah, so ups and downs. But, like, at the end of the day, it was always new. Like, I always knew that like, you were a man of your word, man. So let's talk about being a man of your word. How far has that gotten you in business? I think it's uh, really important to keep your ethics and your integrity. I always say connection, relationships always will take you farther in life. You may be doing one thing today. You may not. But always keep the door open. You never know how life will turn around. So between you and I, we did amazing things. We continue to still have a great relationship after everything happened. We're still here, you know, and I'm really happy to see you're now doing this thing in, in Colombia because I'm also now doing something in my own country, in El Salvador, and it's working out for the two of us. You know, so at the end of the day, uh, there might be people that are going to try to interfere in the relationship that you create with someone. But when you know there's a real connection, you use basically respect that and honor the integrity of that relationship yeah we're gonna have to do a podcast talk about we have a lot of history together it's great history you know that, that's how business is business is ups and down but you keep moving along and things go in the right direction right and yeah. i think that's one thing about you like nothing's i feel like nothing will ever stop you from getting what you want man you're that kind of person that psh, you're laser focused man and something might get in the way this might happen that might happen but you you eventually make it happen and yet didn't, didn't yesterday some guy fell on your computer on the plane like some crazy shit right and yeah. instead of being pissed off about it you turn it into like something good, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, what can I do? You know, the computer was broken at the end of the day. Uh, it, it wanted, it, it basically could affect my attitude, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to SolarCon. I'm going to have the best attitude ever. And I'm going to make leverage of the story that's happening. And everybody's going to come and ask me, how's your computer? At the end, I ended up getting the $2,000 because the guy actually ended up paying. So that was really cool from him to take care of the computer. I've been having that computer for five years now, yeah. so I pretty much got a brand new computer. Always has a smile on his face, no matter what adversity he feels. Thinking about solutions, and I know that from experience. It's yeah, not, it's not my. We, we just know about that, so we gotta have a longer conversation one day about it. And another thing I admire about you, man. Listen, you came here, man. You came here for El Salvador, right? Came here with fucking nothing, right? And you figured this shit out. And now you have a business doing eight figures a year, right? I think that's very inspirational. Thank you, brother. Yeah, right. I think I owe a lot to the work ethic, to my parents, my mom. She put a lot of good belief in me, always do the right thing, always take care of those that take care of you. And I always been a big dreamer. But instead of just dreaming about things, instead of just dreaming about things, you take action, you create connections. You have a student mentality and you serve people. And that's what really will take you far in life, you know. So we're here at SolarCon right now, and I get inspired to see all these people networking. And this is why we created this movement, Solar Latinos, so we can create a movement as big as SolarCon and have all the Latinos here get empowered by people that are actually doing things in the Latino community. And this isn't just about people in the solar industry. This is about all industries coming together to join the biggest movement in the Hispanic communities. I love what you're talking about because the Hispanic population keeps growing and growing and growing. Hardworking people. Well, man, my mom's Venezuelan. I know the deal, man. I wouldn't have my work ethic if it wasn't for my mom. And I think the future of our country is Latino. I mean, yeah. it's, it is what it is. That's and what the data is saying, brother. Yeah. I don't know exactly what the, the numbers are, but it's predicted that there's going to be more Hispanic people owning houses. So people better start learning Spanish right now before it's too late, you know, because we're going to take over. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yeah, uh, that's fucking great. Remember, ego is not your amigo. I love that. Another one thing Eric told me. What is what? Always be, people say always be closing. What do you always say? Always be recording. Always be recording. How important has social media, how long has creating content been for you? It's been 
really important, and this is a question a lot of people ask me, how do you do it? And I say, you simply create a process where everywhere you go, you always have someone creating content for you. Because at the end of the day, it's not about coming up with ideas about the content. It's about just being yourself because you are the content. And if you just have somebody recording you all the time, there's no need to plan your content anymore because you're just doing business as usual and now you get it recorded and that's basically part of building your machine. If you want to be successful now in these days, you got to have people to know you. You are in the business of having more people to know who you are. Fucking love it. When you record, you go to sleep, guess what? That video is working for you. It's like yeah. it's like an employee. They're working yeah. 24 hours a day internationally, which is great, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And look, I haven't gone vital yet, yet, but I'm going to. And I just put the work now because that's it. Most people are avoiding the work. You got to put the work today. If you get 100 views, good for you. Imagine you have a room of 100 people. That's a lot of people. You get a 500 views. Good for you. You have a room of 500 people. Everybody want to have the home run from the first time. That's not how life works. You got to get preparation, you know, for the success that you're going after or that you're attracting. It's all about the consistency is what you're trying to say, right? Consistency. Yeah. You, you post consistent content. If you, you train your team consistently, you go to your shows consistently, guess what? You're going to the fucking results are going to come. The money going to come up. You get to grow. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about long term, right? Yeah. I'm thinking about what Eric at the age of 40 is going to do. I'm 30 right now. I'm turning 31. I'm thinking about what the Eric of the age of 50 is going to do at the time. So at the end of the day, all the moves that we're making are towards the bigger vision that we have for the future. But you got to stop. You got to start where you are today and start small. Be very resourceful. If you only have $20 in your pocket, then by all means, go ahead and use that 20 to turn it into 100. Like I did. When I got into solar, I had $20 in my pocket and I turned it into 20000 the first month. No excuses. I had a broken iPad, BlackBerry, no internet, no car, and I still made it happen. So at the end of the day, it's about the things that you decide, the things that you want, and what you're working for. Only you decide how far you go. You know, that's it. Bro, powerful shit, man. I'm mean, listen. We can go on forever. We got to do a long podcast that way we talk more about your story. Very powerful. Look, he just said some amazing shit. Twenty dollars in his pocket, turn that to twenty G's. Twenty G's turns to the tens of millions of dollars. You've done it, man. You aren't just talking shit. You fucking done it. It's been almost a decade, and every season of your life is the best season. Cause you know what? When I was a server, I was the best server. I was serving people with a great attitude. I was telling them about my dreams. You gotta speak life. If you want a great future, you gotta start speaking the right things because everything you say will be used against you. So if you know the power of your word, you're now gonna be more intentional about what you say because that's gonna impact your future and the connections that you create at the end of the day. So be careful what you're saying. Be careful what you wish for because you may get it. Wow. Mind blowing, man. Best interview of the day, man. For real. Thank <laughs> Listen, you, how do people find out more about you, man? Follow me, Solar King, Solar KNG, Solar Knowledge. And you can also follow my new Instagram, Official Eric Sanchez. See you soon. Cool. Follow him. Learn some shit. Let's fucking go, baby. Love it. That was good, man. That was great.